Hello, hello everyone. Sigita here. Happy weekend everyone. Uh, I'm not so happy. <laughs> I don't have so happy weekend because so very nice spring was coming and uh, suddenly I opened a window this morning, a curtains. There is snow. So <laughs> I have winter back out there. So that's not really cool. Right, my lovelies. Um, junk journal with pages for pictures or a junk journal uh, slash album. All right, quite a big one, a very similar um, to previous ones. I posted this cover uh, in Junk Journal Junkies and um, in my uh, Facebook profile as well. And uh, what I noticed is that I did something I overdid a little bit with staining, with ink staining, uh, because when you looked at that picture or that cover, straight away uh, I couldn't see actual uh, center picture I could see straight away stains which is not really right as uh, they were too dark I didn't really I couldn't actually take control of them because ink and fabric obviously uh, that spreads out quite quickly and that was too much so what I did I calmed it down I used gesso and I just gessoed it and then I put a little bit ink over, so that makes it more, uh, it looks gr grungy, but that main picture stands out more, and I added a uh, rolled rose as well. So that's uh, as far as cover goes. I used a yellow ribbon this time, and I aged it. Uh, I have video, guys, okay, if you... I think videos back I have a little tutorial how to make them just from satin ribbon and I really wanted to use yellow in this in this journal so that's why I have um, cotton fabric yellow a uh, bow and the same I have here I just inked a little bit and uh, just sort as well a little bit of uh, hand stitching this is a back this little flower Okay, a uh, little bit puffy uh, cover is not soft, but it's little puffy. Is a uh, wadding inside. Measurement is a big one. Is a big one, guys, and it is six by eight and a half, and spine is two and a half. Right, let's go in. So it's quite quite chunky so what we are having here and yeah journal is for you guys is on Etsy so if you are interested you can go over and have a look right inside a uh, front a pocket and I have as well a tag Okay, a little bit of sprinkles, a little sprinkles of ink. Then we are having a envelope and I put in already these uh, picture corners. So for me not to forget. And then I'm using new stamp. I really love it. It's like a um, large peony. It's a good one. It comes, uh, comes from uh, Aliexpress as always. Uh, was like that. This, this set of peonies, I love it. It's quite, it's quite fine. So I'm using this, this one here. Little inking, and then we are having picture. So, and I'm using the same picture as last time, same photo. Uh, size for this photo, I just measured it for a three and one quarters uh, by five. Okay, so this is a picture which fits in here perfectly, like that. Okay, is it right? Yeah. And this again, these pins are removable. You can take them out if you don't like it. So this is covered look with a picture. But apart from that, I have um, design papers as an actual background. 
Then I have a little design paper for a picture mat and under I have some or a book page or coffee stain paper, something else and some uh, embellishments on a side. I'm using little pictures from a vintage um, collection uh, with vintage people and I'm going to use them through uh, these uh, photo pages, little die cut there and of course uh, inking and aging. So it's quite, it's quite grungy as well. So oh, this time as well, like here, this is something new. And here as well, uh, what I did, I uh, would be like that. I uh, took just black cardboard and I wrote it on myself with a white. Is it like a marker? I think I was using uh, this one. It is a marker, but I couldn't say I am like hundred percent happy about that. I would say eighty. Uh, I wanted that white to stand out even more, even more white. This is not like white, white, like bright white. And I think I'm going to look for um, pen or pencil to write a little uh, words on. But I love this idea that you can, on a black, you can write over your own words you want to use. So I love it. So I will, I will, I will remember that. But I just need um, another a uh, pen or pencil. Right, this is again how that picture would go. And again some inking, road roses, laces. Uh, this is little uh, stamps from uh, Aliexpress from China. And some vintage like little picture down there as well. And then we are having uh, pages for writing. And each page um, I put on each page on peony in random, like here. Our pages are very aged, and again here I sewed a little strip of fabric in the center just to secure these pages down properly. Actual pages are tea stained and then inked. Some peonies again we are having. Uh, picture. This is how that would look, or you can put in little corners as well. But I just stuck like that. You can see. So that would, would look like that. Nicely, everything nicely. It not it not as bright and as crazy as previous ones, but it's, it's crazy enough. But as soon as you place your picture in, everything nicely comes together just like that Oops, I think I can go under yeah look just perfect and remember again I've wrote down on a black uh, paper again I'll be having some um, peony a small envelope I attached to a pink uh, strip some pages for writing I really like this journal setup because you can use for everything. Uh, okay. Oh, I think that would go under. Yeah. That would go under like that. I and again the same peony, not the same peony, but smaller, just peony. Uh, I used here as well. I stamped on a craft paper, and then I cut it out. It really, it really nice. It really uh, gives uh, nice uh, decorations to your uh, journals. I love it. And as well, I'm using little um, cotton lace and roses and artificial ones and inking and just sewing. So all that goes on on these uh, pages for pictures. And as well, 
so. Wow, upside down. <laughs> Please don't put upside down. Right, like this one. Again, artificial flowers. And uh, some cutouts and inking and just sewing. And the yellow are uh, aged. Uh, ribbon. And again, we are having pages for writing on nowhere for I love I like I like to put these pictures in that's why I'm trying every every page because I love it can I put it under I can't remember what I can't put in and what I can you just have to try okay so this looks like that Again, with some lace and stamping and paper flowers, a little a bunch of thread down there, artificial flower. That's all what's going on here. This one is quite a yellow as well. And this one is pocket. This one is large pocket, and this is fabric, and this is a design paper. So this you can nicely used i had really i think lack of lack of yellow color i think because of lack of sun so i'm using such a yellow in this book i never used yellow before so this is my first yellow yellow and again we are having writing and we are having another and you can see here nicely, I stamped on a craft paper and then I cut it out. It looks really nice. Uh, where did I put... Why is there is no... Okay, anyway, I have to put then this little paper clip. And then that would look like that. Oh, yeah. Did I move? I can't find this. So just to put... It would right. Now, otherwise, I will close it and I will forget. I need the black one. Okay, so that would look like that. And the story there some old lady and a uh, coffee stain papers and laces and inking and just sewing again on this page and here again we just stuck it picture down like that the trim goes nicely over some stamping old lace artificial flowers inking just sewing stamping down there down there stamping up there and memories on a black and then we are having on um, again for writing. I love that peony is quite a big. And then we are having a large envelope on the back. And this is a last uh, kind of page. And then on the back cover uh, we are having a little bit of embellishments and large pocket, some inking my uh, shop stamp. So guys, this is how it looks. This is all for you. I love it. I think I will make another one. I really like that, as I said, that setup, how it turns out. And I do like um, to put all, quite a few envelopes in because I think envelopes really hold nicely whatever things you want to put in. So, my lovelies, that's all for you. Just trying to... No, it's not... To tie up nicely. Um, price, price, guys, are going to be one price. Uh, one together with shipping. Um, come on. And... Um, Okay, <laughs> I can't, I cannot do it now. Uh, yeah, price will be together with shipping price, so one price. If you have any questions, uh, please ask. And I think I will make another similar to this one. 
but uh, in different colors in different colors right my lovelies thanks a lot enjoy your weekend and see you very soon bye